hey folks um skin's kind of falling off anyway like i have seborrhea skin uh affliction but uh so there's a lot of videos right now on youtube about the pfizer um ceo mentioning about how they hadn't tested uh the pfizer vaccine for um transmission before they released it to the public and she um you know it was like the one of the pfizer president or something i don't know not borla not albert borla but some lady that was in the european parliament and the one of the dutch uh, ministers asked her you know about this asked her if it had been tested and if so where's the data and she said no we didn't test it for transmission uh prior to release to the general public you know, they didn't test whether it affected in any way the trend, the rate of transmission between people. They only tested <coughs> it for whether it uh, supposedly decreased the uh, severity of the disease in the individual. So, and you should read the uh, British Medical Journal uh, expose of the Pfizer trials to get the truth about that um as well but uh anyway so it's interesting like all these people are calling it a bombshell you know it was on uh, like you know dr john campbell did a thing about it and facts matter with roman uh whatever his name is did a thing it's like this bombshell report but I just wanted to make a video. I mean, hopefully they don't delete my account just for saying this. But this is not a bombshell report. This was publicly known information from day one. Like, you know, I mean, did nobody ever ask this before? People did ask this and people already knew this. Like, I knew this just from like Googling it and just from reading, you know, websites and watching videos of people that were looking into it we already knew this in the beginning that you know it was and especially once the trial was looked into at all uh including probably the british medical journal piece from like uh a year ago already exposed this so you know because they're saying like the mp is saying or whatever is uh mep or Whatever it is, he's the Dutch guy is saying, well, you know, you guys, all the politicians said and uh, political, you know, officials said that, like, you know, that you have to, we have to mandate it because it will stop transmission. And so he's saying, like, this shows that this whole premise is false. But, like, it's just like, people have already been pointing that out for two years since the beginning of the beginning really that like even Pfizer itself generally didn't claim anything about transmission they focused on their other claims about reducing the severity of the disease so um, it's just funny how it just has to be said in a certain way by a certain person at a certain time and place to become a bombshell when it was publicly available information for the last two years. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to say that. Or I don't know, not two years. How long has it even been? Like, what is it it's right now? A year and a half, let's say. For a year and a half, this has basically been known. And certainly at least for a year, this has been known. Uh, so the fact that they were still able to push the mandates through and everything is not because this information wasn't out there. It's because this information was ignored. And, uh, you know, it was... 
I mean, basically, the they've just had the politicians doing the work, doing the advertising. Um, because if you if you have a if a pharmaceutical company does an official ad for a drug, they have to list the side effects, and that's why there's never been an official ad for you know these products they've only just had intermediaries to push them for them they have the governments do them do it and they have the media do it they have you know endless slew of ngos and corporations and basically anybody that they could uh, you know pay to do it they spent probably billions of dollars just on the promotion of it um and so yeah it's that's that's who was uh <clears throat> saying that it was going to stop transmission was the politicians and the media not you know Pfizer Pfizer's not stupid enough to say that they know that they uh that that would you know have been fraudulent so they they you know they're smarter than a lot of the shills that just will say whatever uh, they're told to say. So anyway, I'm hoping this doesn't get me banned, but I'm just stating the obvious, stating facts. And uh, see what else is going on. Oh yeah, the banks are like banning everybody. Uh, I think Bank of America or... JP Morgan, I don't know, like, I think maybe JP Morgan canceled uh, Kanye's bank account, and then Bank of America canceled uh, Cat Turd, who's like a Twitter guy, conservative Twitter guy, um, and I think in both cases, it was because they criticized, like, powerful Jewish people, and um, so, yeah, they accused uh, Jewish people of controlling the narrative or something like that. So anyway, it's <laughs> fucked up times. Oh, and Alex Jones just got fined a billion dollars for hurting some people's feelings. You know, <laughs> I saw a joke. Somebody said, like, even Zelensky is now wishing he sent his kids to ha Sandy Hook. With that kind of money flying around. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. And it, there's people on um, on Getter that are like celebrating it. I can't tell if they're like government, you know, agents or assets or just some fucking psycho trolls that, you know, are obsessed with uh, Alex Jones and um, Infowars as just being a good target for them to rail at since like you know so many people hate them you know a lot of people they just want somebody to hate so they just find out okay who do the most people hate all right i'll just spend all day hating that person since hating is like my thing so it might be people like that like I was telling them, I'm like, you know, you're celebrating the end of the Constitution. You're celebrating the end of liberty, the end of our republic. If, like, everybody can just be fined a billion dollars for saying something that, you know, that they thought was true, that turned out to supposedly not be true. And, you know, it's like they're not finding... Uh, all these politicians who misled us about the... Uh, transmission issue they're not finding them a billion dollars even though there could arguably be a much better um, legal case for that no they're finding him because he thought some people were crisis actors and supposedly they weren't that's it and supposedly that hurt people's feelings so much that they uh I mean, it's so obviously just a way for the government to censor its enemies. And any people who are like, oh, well, I don't like Alex Jones, so I'm going to celebrate it. Good. You'll be next, and I'll celebrate that shit. I'm not, a, I'm not a simp for Alex Jones. I'm a simp for the Bill of Rights. 
And if you're going to celebrate when this shit happens, then guarantee you'll probably be next and I'll be celebrating then. You know, you don't get to choose. It's not like, oh yeah, like, we'll just like set the constitution aside just for the people you don't like. No, dude, fuck these fucking scumbag haters. So vindictive, they'll destroy the whole country just to like, just to like own the conservatives or the tinfoils or whatever like um so anyway i I mean i'm curious like how far these banks are really going to go with this shit like it seems like this is a concerted uh you know orchestrated thing so i might pull my money out of my money isn't chase so they'll i think they're one of these ones that are doing shit like this so I might pull it out of there. It's hard to know, though. I mean, it's, like, convenient to use their shit just because it's, like, everywhere. But um, I already had left B of A because they were, like, fucking me over the overdraft fees and stuff. Anyway, so um, hold on to your tits. I mean, we'll see what actually happens. Like, if, they, if this really balloons out a lot more and they keep like deleting people's bank accounts i mean for one thing every conservative and every free thinker should if they can like leave these banks so yeah i mean i probably will try to leave chase um i mean i'm hoping that i can find something better maybe some credit union or something if they can give me an assurance that they're not in the business of like regulating people's speech and like punishing disinformation quote unquote and all this um so yeah i mean it would be good to see everybody who's not a registered democrat just leave these banks and pull out all their money that would be beautiful and i hope that's what's happening but yeah, apparently Kanye, he was, it's like him and the cat turd dude were like saying something about Jews. And um, I don't know, it's like you can't, you can't say anything um, critical, you know, like, I mean, what maybe I would have phrased whatever they said differently, but it shouldn't matter, you know, like shouldn't have to walk on eggshells just to not get banned out of society and out of the economy. Um, You know, they certainly don't do that for people who criticize, like, white people or who criticize, you know, like, anything else. There's clearly, this is like a first, you know, like, there's people who criticize everybody else, gay people, straight people, uh, every kind of ethnicity and not gotten banned off everything but one tweet against Jews and or that seems like unfavorable towards at least some subset of Jews and boom bans freaking kicked out of their bank accounts but it just seems like part of the whole ongoing trend of like you know they banned all the people that they thought were too, uh, were, were not, uh, towing the line on Ukraine, like Jackson Hinkle, he got like demonetized and maybe banned off YouTube or something. Um, so anyway, solidarity to all these people. I mean, Alex Jones, like, I'm trying to argue with this idiot on Getters, like, oh, Alex Jones is just tabloid misinformation. I'm like, no, actually, he was correct about, like, so many things that, like, almost nobody else was, except his fellow, like, conspiracy theorists. Um, so, and the guy's like, oh, what? Show me your sources in your articles. I'm like, dude, wake up, you fuck. So, anyway, um fascism but who knows it seems like maybe the tide is turning like the uh whoever's calling the shots and all these things is gonna tilt it to the other side and and you know um 
because, you know, maybe the Republicans are going to take the House and then it's going to be like, oh, now we all know. All of a sudden we know about the, you know, Pfizer and the transmission and these things that were already public information for a year and a half or more. But all of a sudden now we're allowed to know them. So maybe this is the time where the narrative shifts and just like, uh, you know, and then they maybe they'll punish at least the low level leaders or the visible puppets and then but the people calling the shots will still like stay empowered enthroned all right so that's my spiel see if this gets me banned it, I, it shouldn't but that's not saying much i mean um yeah i'm gonna see jimmy Dore in a couple days that's gonna be good I'm going to give him my book and um, yeah, looking forward to it and uh, what else, I'm going to write another book probably soon about uh, the ancient Egyptian maps, you know, the book of two ways, especially now that I've Deco seemingly decoded the Afro-Eurasian side of it that warrants a new publication so I'll probably start working on that after probably next week after the Jimmy Dore show after I have like a bunch of stuff to do this weekend but yeah hopefully next week I'll get started on that and uh That'll be good. My dream is that Jimmy Dore will like my book and will like invite me to like, you know, talk on his show about it. I mean, that's a big if, you know, like he's I mean, he's pretty edgy, but sometimes he's not. So we'll see. We'll see how down he is. Um, but, you know, at least hopefully he'll read it and like it or whatever. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you very much and uh, take care.